Ask any cyclist what they think of Sherborne's newly separated bike lane and you'll likely hear... Oh, it's sort of like the bike lane that nobody asked for, you know? Martin Rees, a photojournalist for the group Advocacy and Respect for Cyclists, thinks... Uh, I'm really torn about them. I mean, I don't think they really solve anything. Um, I think in some cases they make things worse. Uh, it's very easy now, and it was before, but now it's incredibly easy and almost safe for a driver to park in the bike lane. Mr. Reese does like one aspect of the separated bike lane. It's a, it's a beautiful thing, having color instead of all the gray asphalt. So that's... Uh, and who doesn't like green, right? What does Mr. Reese think of policing on the bike lane? I don't think the police is too interested in, in, in keeping track of, of courier companies and, and kicking them out. Constable Hugh Smith of Toronto Police's Traffic Services disagrees. You'd have to put a designated officer almost at every intersection unless you have the mobile going up and down. And the, the cost for that uh, over the compliance that the general public is, it's only one or two. They could pay for it if they, if they wanted to, and in other countries they would. Martin Rees will continue to use Sherborne's bike lane as a safe and healthy way to ride Toronto's roads. While Toronto police will continue to have everyone share the space and use it equitably. It would seem in Toronto's war on the car, the cyclists have won this battle. At Sherborne and Gerard Street East, I'm Ian Campbell, Say News.